Good evening. Welcome to the Selectman's meeting of January 17th, 2017. First item on the agenda is to uh, a salute to the flag. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next up is the uh, approval of the agenda. I move that we approve the agenda. I second. All in favor? And we need to approve the minutes of the January 3rd meeting. I move that we approve the minutes of the January 3rd, 3rd meeting. I second. And any discussion? All in favor? And we are going to approve the minutes of the last meeting, which was January 10th. I move that we approve the <coughs> minutes of the last meeting. I second. All in favor? And do we have any department heads or committee chair updates here tonight? Nope. Moving on to old business. Removal of old sand and salt shed. Okay, so this has been an ongoing conversation. Um, a little more information than I have for you is that the demo prices um, are going up. I spoke to Sean from CIA again today. Um, the board needs to move on this if they want him to honor that price. It's been several months now. Um, he said February 1st they're going up again. So he doesn't have an exact amount yet. Um, I did talk to the chair last week. I kind of followed up with the road commissioners. So there is a warrant article that allows the Board of Selectmen to move up to $15,000 for an emergency situation. Um, the treasurer is going to come in next, next Tuesday and talk to you guys about it. Um, the idea behind this is that this is the time to do that rather than wait for the special town meeting. Um, as you're going to hear when we get into the ambulances, at this point we haven't received the specs and don't have additional information on it. So with that being said, we aren't really ready to schedule a special town meeting. A couple things that are going to happen. The rows will get posted like David indicated last week. Um, May Municipal, you saw the documents that I sent you from yep. 2014. Uh, we had left off last week about calling May Municipal and, and talking to the insurance guy, but I think we all decided when I talked to you individually that there's really not a whole lot to say. Uh, the prices are going up. This is a difference of $20,000 between the next bid. Um, the insurance company is telling us that we can't be in there. It's not covered. Um, I'm not sure what else the, you know, the board would like me to do or what discussion they want to have. Um, I know that, that Ed is out tonight, but I can tell you he does support um, putting it on the agenda for next week and, and moving it and just being done with it now. Um, he figures it's two, maybe three day project. He'd be in and out of there. Okay. Now that I've seen the documentation and heard that people have been in there, I think that it's the safest thing to do is to do it right away. And I, I would consider it an emergency now that I've seen more. Yep. You agree? Yep. I mean, for background, I mean, we started. When we started building the, the new sand and salt building, we actually had the insurance company come out and they had to do a slippery slope on the roof and they we had to do things at that time just to let us finish, you know, to use it, remember Bill, to use it to get through that year. We kept buying these, you know, buffer times with them. So mm -hmm. the, new, the new building is up. We've got a really good price. I mean, you heard David last week say that he wouldn't even touch it for that number. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it seems like, you know, now's the time to move forward with it. Um, do you have the contract tonight? Yep. Well, all I have is the bid that you need to, you've got the two bids here. If you want to just officially accept this one, we'll put it on the agenda next week to, with the treasurer to look at the article and move the money so we can, um, he said he could start the work as early as uh, the last week of January as well. Should I reread the bid? Sure. CIA Salvage Incorporate, Incorporated will demolish and remove the wood structure at 893 Sanborn Road, formerly used as the town's sand salt shed for the sum of $12,681. All concrete and pavement will remain in place. Do you want, do you want to make a motion to um, accept I move the bid? That we accept the uh, bid. I second. 
Any further discussion? All in favor? The bid has been accepted. Signature somewhere? No. no. They'll, um, they'll draft a contract for you to look at next week. Okay. Um, but it'll basically, he had asked if he'd even won the bid yet officially. He hadn't, so uh, I told him okay. we would start the with The bid that has been won <laughs> by CIA Salvage. CIA. Yes. What was the price on that? 12,681 dollars. I think the only other bid, how much was that second bid we got in? It was 30 something, I thought. 32,699. You can pass that to Jen. The next item on the agenda is 2014 foreclosures. We are at 13. Still at 13. Uh, January 31st is the last day of payment uh, and then we'll be coming to you to talk about right to redemption oh the number's high i'd like to see it get low it should uh next one is the ambulance purchase so uh, because the fire chief came to you last week i thought it should stay on his old business until it's resolved um the way we left it last tuesday was that he's going to uh, get the specs and then we would prepare for a special town meeting um from what i understand he's still working on that so nothing new to report and winter ordinance last weekend uh, last weekend last Tuesday uh, mr. Winchell mentioned that he wanted us to look for the ordinance and we wanted to start notifying some people of the winter ordinance so I found we found two things and I emailed this to you sent it to the road commissioners we're running it in the smart shop as well uh, cable and internet so uh, pursuant to an ordinance that was adopted actually in March of 1976 it shall be illegal for any vehicle to be parked on roads where they will obstruct the removal of snow and sanding of roads. This ordinance shall be in effect from November 15th to April 15th each year. All vehicles so illegally parked shall be towed away at the owner's expense by an authorized garage. This will, be, this will also authorize road commissioners and local officers to order the towing of such a vehicle. Um, and then in the road ordinance that was actually adopted um, in the early 2000s, there's also a authority piece in there that gives the road commissioners um, the right to do that. So uh, we're in the process of working out the details with them and um, be able to move forward with that. But, you know, it's interesting. We put it on um, social media as well. And there was actually quite a few responses of people that just didn't realize that. So maybe getting the word out yep. will help. Yeah. And we'll be getting snow tonight, so be sure to park your cars in your driveways, um, not on the side of the road. <laughs> a couple other things uh, from follow-up um, from last week with in regards to roads. So um, I did speak to both Mr. Winchell and Mr. Mooney this morning. Uh, Mr. Winchell has the signs for the um, – remember he talked about the – different buildings some people were going into the new building mm -hmm. so he for that one he's having to order signs authorized personnel only but where he wants residents or where they want residents to get sand he already has those signs and said that they would be up by the end of the week so okay hopefully that will deter traffic as public well. sand yeah. and the new business bridge posting so do you remember dot um came before you a month or two ago about the uh, weight on one of the bridges um the road commissioners were here gave their input and i think there was talk about um they wanted to increase it to, to a higher tonnage so they did agree with what the town said and that's the advertisement so okay maybe so you want to read it i will read it it's the ben ba ben bracket bridge and it carries milton mills road over the salmon falls river at the Acton Milton Mills New Hampshire town line it's being posted with a maximum weight limit of 17 tons all vehicles heavier than the posted limit that need to travel from one end to the other should use an alternate route following state routes use Milton Mills Road and route 109 in Acton route 11 in Shapley routes 11 11a and 202 in Sanford Depot Road and Milton Mills Road in Lebanon and Fox's Ridge Road in Acton. As this weight limit, at this weight limit, cars, pickup trucks, and some emergency vehicles will still be able to cross. Vehicles such as logging trucks, 
and loaded dump, garbage, concrete, and heating oil trucks will not be able to use the bridge. Will there be a picture? Where's this going? Well, this is this is the email attachment that they sent me. They told me that okay. uh, they're in charge of um, all of the postings, the notices. They're going to put signs up at both ends. Um, that was just the flyer. Did we ever clarify school bus? Yes, we took care of that, and they're all set. Okay. That's good. Yep. It says no oil trucks, but how about propane? <clears throat> I'm, I mean, I'm not DOT yet. Based on what I just heard Elise read, they might have to I find another way around. Yeah, there's there's other ways yeah, around. So, it's just I mean, it doesn't sound they're not an emergency vehicle that would be exempt. So, I would imagine they have to find another way. Okay. Uh, William Williams. Yes, ma'am. I just want to know: is this being coordinated with New Hampshire as well? I mean, that, that's an interstate bridge. I would imagine when they came to the town of Acton, they went to them. But I'd have to. I can double check with the gentleman that was here. He didn't say. But it would it only make sense. You're right. Any public comments? Uh, seeing none, I'll move on to the announcements. Uh, this thurs Thursday, January 19th at 7, we have a planning board meeting. Uh, Thursday as well, recreational committee, January 19th, 7.30. That'll be upstairs. Up here, right here upstairs. in this room. Upstairs to the rec. Up here. In here. Yes. Because the planning board will be downstairs. Right. Oh, okay. Road committee, um, January 24th. That's a Tuesday night at 6 p.m. And there's a free snowmobile weekend, January 27th through the 29th. Yeah, and just to clarify, this uh, this is uh, Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont. So oh. your, your snowmobile has to be legally registered in one of those three states to have free reciprocity in the other states. Okay. And where so is it? Where? Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont. So what does it mean by free? Like so if you're, because there's no reciprocity right now, so if you have your Maine snowmobile and you go into New Hampshire, you have to register at New Hampshire as well. Oh. So they're giving you a free weekend. Okay, so. nice. But again, they have to be registered in one state. So Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont, not Massachusetts? Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont are the three that are participating. Okay, that's pretty clear. So Acton in Motion is also having their Super Bowl, which is S-O-U-P, on um, February 5th. Um, we'll bring a can of soup to donate to the Acton Food Pantry for that as well. Lord. And I think that's it. Madam Chair. Yes. Yeah. William. I wanted to ask two questions about the ambulance. Uh, first of all, do we have any idea now the model and how much the new one is going to cost as far as the final number. We've received nothing since the last, since he presented last Tuesday. Second question, there seemed to be some doubt as to what the actual problem with the older vehicle is or was, a turbo diesel engine, something. Anyway, did we have an exact diagnosis as to what's going on and it can't be repaired in any way, shape, or form now? I would say we don't have that information either. Wouldn't it be nice to sort of know that before we go ahead with spending? I will look into it and send the full board and the Warren Finance an email tomorrow. We have we have had no other communications. On okay, that. thank you so much. I appreciate. It. Do we have a motion to adjourn the meeting? I move that we adjourn the meeting. I second. All in favor. All in favor. <laughs> Good night. Stay safe tonight. Tomorrow.